Yeah, man. So that's how you make all natural carrot juice, guys. going to make some all natural juice. You can't try it, but I'll be drinking it for the next couple of days. It's amazing. Um, I actually drank it for my first time when my mother-in-law was down visiting. It's delicious. So we're going to make all natural carrot juice with um, these three items. Well, four items, sorry, because I'm going to put a little bit of sugar in there. But I have my carrots here. I have the lime, ginger, and we're going to add a little bit of um, sugar. So, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like this video. Give me your thumbs up. I wish you could give me double thumbs up, but you can't. But if you want to give me double thumbs up, you can put that right down in the comment. Okay, guys? So, we're going to get started. First, we're going to take our carrots and we're going to skin them. So... My favorite thing um, to have on the side when I'm cooking things is a little garbage um, uh, bucket, pail, bowl, whatever you want to call it. So it's easier so I'm not running back and forth um, to the garbage to empty and clean off the counter. So again, first we're going to skin them. So just like this, you're going to skin your carrot. I used to just do it with a knife, but then I got a potato peeler, which is much easier. Again, carrot number two. So I have five carrots here. That's going to give me a lot of flavor. Get all that skin off of there. Make it extra nice. Number three. Mm. I can taste the flavor in my mouth right now. I'm really excited. I haven't had carrot juice in a while. I never thought I'd actually like it, but it's so good, guys. You should try it out. It's really easy to make. Again, you only need four ingredients, and it's all natural. Now when we're done skinning the carrot, we're going to wash it. Even though it looks clean, you should always wash your ve ouch. your vegetables. Almost got my nail there. And this is not very long to prep either, obviously. <laughs> okay, so we've skinned all five carrots. Gonna clean up my little mess here. And then we are ready to wash the carrots. Then I'll cut the ends off. So I have my little strainer here. It's gonna hold my carrots. I love this strainer. It's pretty neat. Easy. All my carrots are washed. I'm now going to cut off the ends. Thank you. 
these babies are ready to get cut smaller and then put in the blender. All right, so before I do that, I'm going to, here's my ginger. Um, I'm going to cut my ginger. So with the ginger, you got to make sure that you're going to peel it as well. I'm going to peel the skin off of there. small enough so it blends right in. I don't know if I'm going to use all of this ginger but I'm going to use enough of it. Ginger <laughs> has little hairs in there. If you've never tried ginger in your food or drinks, it's a it's a it's a really um, nice ingredient. It gives your food a lot of flavor. Right now, it sometimes gives me heartburn. I'm pregnant, but usually I'm okay with it. All right, we're gonna leave that to the side for a minute, and we are gonna get back to the carrots. All right, so with the carrots, I'm going to do this. Cut it in half, and then I'm just going to chop it like this. I made it. I have my blender over here, so I can start putting it in. this and writing this down because again you will enjoy this drink all natural ingredients and it's gonna taste amazing when you're adding your water you don't want to add too much water because you want the juice to still be strong with that carrot flavor and if you don't have lime you could always um, use an orange instead like a, a fruit orange that will give it some a different taste as well cutting the carrots up so small is a lot more time consuming than I thought so instead I'm just gonna cut it in half and just make a little bit more chunks it's still gonna blend so you don't have to worry about that This juice is going to be amazing for my body. Alright. So, we have our carrots. Now I'm just going to cut this ginger up a little bit more. Similar. Alright, 
piece of the ginger I'm going to add in there. Here's my more. Wash my hands for a second. And add some water in there. So it makes it a little bit more easier. Again, not too much. You want that flavor to stick. We'll add the lime juice after. We just want to mix this up. Alright, so we're going to blend. your own food, alright? So it's normally three tablespoons for me, but because 
I want you to understand how you should um, make your carrot juice step by step. That's why I'm tasting it. When you're done, put it in the freezer or in the fridge for a while before drinking it. But it's whatever you prefer. Alright, so that's it, guys. Just like that. Four ingredients, about four steps, and you got all natural carrot juice to enjoy with your family. I'm going to put mine in my little juice jug here. Hopefully, I can get it in there without spilling it. Just like that. And you can even add ice cubes if you want. If you want to drink it right away, you can add some ice cubes. It's not going to do anything. I'll do. I'm gonna add a couple ice cubes in there. Cool it down so I can drink it faster. So I put the ice cubes in, guys. But just remember, <laughs> the ice cubes from the ice cube tray is not the same ice you're gonna get if you put the juice in the freezer, okay? I just want to drink mine faster. That's why I put the ice cubes in there. <laughs> so, I'm gonna pour some carrot juice. Just like that. Mm. That's exactly how it tasted before last time I tried it. Um, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like this video. Give us your thumbs up and leave a comment and let me know what you thought about my all natural carrot juice. Um, and give it a try. Easy. One, two, three. It's done and you got some natural stuff going right in your body. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all later.